Hey everyone, Slambo here. Hopping on another uh, another thought, not a thread or anything, but uh, I know I saw the uh, the video that Tuco posted a couple days ago about uh, Rusty Warren that she had just recently passed. Uh, she passed on uh, May 25th. She died in her sleep, uh, age 91, at her home in Hawaii. This was uh, confirmed by a couple of sources, so that's what the big thing that I was wait waiting for was more confirmation than just the one source. Uh, but yeah, there are several places now saying and confirming it. So one of the early names that I remember in my collecting, because I first got her song on Greatest Comedy Records of All Time, the 1960s. This one came in a box set of six LPs. Uh, there was uh, the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and Christmas. So this was released in, uh, when was it? 1985 was when the box set was released. And the 1960s, there's a picture of her on the back and it has her song, uh, let's see, where is it? It's the one that I always heard. Uh, it is, there it is, side two, track five, Bounce Your Boobies. So that was my introduction to Rusty Warren. Uh, since I heard that, I started going out and looking for her when I went out uh, thrifting and, and uh, looking at various record shops. The first one I found was Songs for Sinners, which was released in 1959, uh, which I think, as far as I can tell, is the first album that she released. Uh, this was on Jubilee Records number 2024, uh, and Tuco showed his collection. He had the Knockers Up inserts. I've got that on a couple of them, but he's got one up on me. Uh, well, I'll mention that at the end. So I've got uh, I got Songs for Sinners. The next one in my collection going in chronological order. We've got Knockers Up, which was released in 1960. This is Jubilee 2029. And we have Rusty Warren Bounces Back. Uh, oh, and the uh, Knockers Up, by the way. Also has the uh, Knockers Up Club sign-up card. Uh, Rusty Warren Bounces Back was the third album chronologically in my collection. This is Jubilee number 2039, it says down there at the bottom. This one I don't have the card in it, but you know, I've got that and you know shows pictures of the other three albums that were available so far and I've got two of those. I still need to get uh, Sensational. So, and then uh, the next one chronologically in my collection Rusty Warren in Orbit, released in 1962. This is Jubilee 2044. This time showing four records on the back. <laughs> and the next one that I've got was released in 1967. Rusty Rides Again. And they were still putting the uh, the inserts in in this in 67. And still says, send 25 cents today and receive your official Knockers Up Club certificate. No man's man can be without one. Large 9x12 certificate suitable for framing. And the last record that I've got in my collection, look what I've got for you. This is released, or was released in 1969. It's Jubilee number 2074. And there's the back showing more of her records that were available at the time. So Rusty Warren released 15 albums and five EP slash seven inch, 10 inch singles. Uh, and there were three records that were reissued that are available. So there's another nine, 12, 17 records that I need to add to my collection to complete my Rusty Warren collection. Let's see, so the reissues were in 1973, Knockers Up and Songs for Sinners were combined onto one issue, uh, and then also in 1973, Bounces Back and Sensational were put out in one reissue. Uh, and then in 1976, Bottoms Up was, re was released as a standalone reissue. Uh, the last recording that I could find in my notes is uh, was released in 2003. It's a CD live in Las Vegas. And let's see, there was also a biography that was written by her partner, 
uh, Rusty Warren was uh, on the uh, uh, LGBTQ spectrum. I'm not sure exactly where she fell on there, but she did have a female partner who was with her to the end of the life. And then in 2008, there was also a DVD documentary, Rusty Warren Knockers Up, The Lady Behind the Laugh. So there's a few more things that I need to add into my collection. But, uh, you know, Tuco, you've got one up on me. You've got one signed by her. So <laughs> you have my envy on that one. Rusty Warren is definitely worth looking into, especially if you like double entendres and the uh, the more uh, adult humor uh, from the late 60s and into the, into the 70s. So that's what I've got today. See you next time.